skip, skip. Compression techniques. What is compression? Then comes the time of internet. Sharing is no more from disks, from tapes. People like to share it from home right away, just like that. When I was of your age, somebody walked down to me. I was trying to complete this diploma of computer science and said, no, there's something called email. I said, what's that? He tried explaining me, if you spend rupees 200 for fax on email, it would cost you a ton. I was like, wow. And you don't have to have this right away. The person who is sent this mail can download it whenever they want. I was like, awful. Oh. So that is how it all came up. Fax was taken over by email. Letter was taken over by email. Phone was taken over by wipe, voice over IP. Getting started. I still remember why I, why I was studying and working in America. They introduced video chat. One frame per second. Bullshit. But I was so much happy that I can see my mother, my kids, my family. See, the things got evolved, like this phone. Like this testing to different carriers. All these are what? Standards. But these standards require, with the passage of time, we human get impatient. Video continuous quality video continuous over to quality quality to size bada size bada format, format. We are always impatient. So everything which is going along is actually being modernized, technically modified, enhanced, and going further, further, further. Today, in this very room, the internet connection that we have is from Storm Fiber and that is 32 MB. While I was in America working in a company, we were working on a Kodak called Wavelet. And we did once a video conferencing with Saudi Arabia. The connection was 2 Mbps and we were so happy that we were able to see a continuous stream for a straight 10 minutes. Why? We were like, we have got DSL. When I got back, I realized that in Pakistan, in every three kilometer radius, there is one exchange. I still remember from my computer lab, the company where I used to work, I called these telephone people and I asked them, can we get DSL? So they said that how far your office is from the uh, telephone exchange? I said that it's right in front of us. He said, OK, then you get DSL. I said, why? He said that if your home is uh, away from uh, telephone exchange, you cannot get DSL. And then I studied and I realized that if you are two to three kilometer far, then two to three kilometer away from telephone exchange, you cannot get DSL. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a person that said that I don't have broadband in Pakistan because I live away from the telephone exchange? No. You don't even know this fact. Thanks to early bureaucrats of Pakistan, which took so much bribe and allowed companies to put as many as telephone exchanges across the Pakistan. And that gave us edge now to their thanks to their corruption that gave us edge now that we have installed WiMAX before Americans installed it because they did not have these exchanges. See? So whatever it is, evolution. So when things get evolved, there was a war between the amount of data that is being sent and the ability of the carrier to carry that data from one point to another point. And that gave another idea of reducing the data size so that it could be sent faster, smoothly, without interpretation. 
and on the other side it gets back to the same form and people think that wow high quality video no choppy sound smooth all right so there comes compression what computer does computer compresses data send it over receiver receives it decompress it and show and it is all happening at the speed of electricity we don't realize it we don't realize that these jpeg mp3 mpeg these are compressions gif these are compressions this is not raw data these are compressions and they are so much popular that whenever we take a single picture from cell phone it actually compresses it converts it to the jpeg form and save it and we think like jpeg is the raw no jpeg is not the raw all right so these compressions are standard so now there are two types of compressions where we can afford to lose the lost data because we cannot apprehend it there is a limit of uh, pixel that we can see we as a human cannot see beyond a particular limit so what's the need of 4k this is just dil pashuri we cannot even watch it frames beyond 35 40 we cannot watch it yet we may have 60 frames per second hd colors we cannot watch beyond 7 million yet we have 17 million colors so if we lose we cut on that data before sending it over the other person would not even feel ke what got lost but we would have compressed it this is lossy compression mp3 loses data 10 times if you have a raw file raw sound file 100 mb and if you apply mp3 it would become 10 mb yet it was wonderful all over because the broadband availability of the world was not that as it is now is it clear am i making myself clear kisi ko koi problem to nahi ho rahi angrezi zyada bolne se all right actually hamara online ja raha hai we cannot afford to have this lecture all in full anyways aage chalte hain but there is certain type of data like this text we cannot afford to lose on numbers we cannot afford to lose on text so we have to have a compression when we get it back it should be the way it was produced is it clear so that is loss less compression so what do we need we need just three things to you know what is lossy to you know what is lossless a few names what is lossless and what is lossy okay and one compression method which is quite uh, conventional and old it is called r l e run length encoding all right compression lossy data is reduced and never recovered mp3 jpeg gif etc that's it this is what you need to know lossless data is reduced and recovered when un uncompressed zip and rar rle is for lossless run length encoding patterns of zeros and ones are seen and reduced so if we have got this 0000110101000 all computer would see that how many zeros are there it will say four zeros one one three one zeros five zeros six ones see even in this smaller line i have reduced it by like one fourth and if it is continuous long stream of zeros and ones i would be able to compress it further when i compress it further i would have more to send over the available bandwidth other one would have faster to receive and so and so forth you might be given a pattern and you are asked to convert it using rle that is how you convert it from rle compression is performed over files so that they take less space over the storage the hard disk take less bandwidth over networks like internet while being transferred so that's it for your compression
how about having an early break at 11 rather than 11:30 so that topic is finished we will be starting with processor fundamentals which is a longer topic so let's have it in second session let's have early break